Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Before I get into today's card, I wanted to quickly address something with the Gonzai Tombi watercolors. I still love these watercolors, that has not changed at all. I just want to talk a little bit about the names of the colors. When I first got this watercolor set, I made this little swatch chart and I have the names on it and I took those names directly from this little chart that's on the inside of the watercolor set. But something that I've noticed recently is that these Gonzai Tombi watercolors have two different names floating out there. So some people have sets with one set of names and some people have sets with a whole different other set of names, even though they're all the same colors. So I did a little research online and I found all of the alternate names for the colors that I have and I made a new chart with both of the colors on it so that I can give more accurate uh, colors to you guys when I'm using these and then you can follow along with my coloring if you want to. I'm also going to make this chart available on my blog in case you want to reference it for any reason. So if you want to see that there's going to be a link down in the description of this video to that blog post. Okay, so now let's get into today's card. So to start out, I have a piece of Canson watercolor paper taped to my board, and I'm gonna be using the Gonzai Tombi watercolors and just doing some very relaxing watercoloring. I didn't wanna do anything too complicated. I had kind of a rough weekend. My brain was fried. It was so hot all weekend. It was like 100 plus every day. And my daughter was really sick on Saturday. She, she had a fever and she just was not herself, very fussy all day. And it was just a rough weekend. And by the time I sat down to do this card for today's video, I didn't wanna think and the creativity part of my brain was just off and it would not turn on. So I was like, I'm just going to paint for fun and to relax. So I sat down and I just chose some colors just because I liked them and that I was drawn to them. And so I just laid them down on the paper however I wanted, just, just relaxing. So yeah, my daughter was sick on Saturday. She woke up and we could tell immediately that something was up because she didn't wake up until 1030, which is crazy for her. I mean, she's a toddler and toddlers like to wake up at the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> so it was a little weird when she didn't get up until 1030 and I got a lot of sleep, which was great for me, but not so great for her because she just wasn't feeling well. And we could tell that she wasn't feeling well because she was sitting on the couch, she wasn't really active. And then the biggest concern was is she refused to drink anything all day and I was freaking out. I thought that I had to take her to the hospital and I, and I ended up taking her to urgent care on Sunday morning and luckily she was feeling a whole lot better on Sunday, but I wanted to take her in and make sure that she didn't have an ear infection or something like that. Um, but she was so much better on, on Sunday, luckily. So Sunday was actually a much better day overall in that respect. The, on, the only thing about Sunday was it was still extremely hot. And you know, when it's like really hot outside, like a hundred plus, it just takes everything out of you. Anyways, back to the card. I pulled out the stamp set that comes in July's Simon Says Stamp Kit, and I'm gonna be using that for this card. And the first thing that I'm gonna stamp is this little flamingo. I stamped that using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and I'm gonna be coloring these with my Arteza markers. And I have this one color called Flamingo Pink, and I thought that that would be a perfect place to start. By the way, this is Bristol Smooth Paper that I stamped this on. It's very important to use the right kind of paper when you're coloring with Arteza markers or else you just will not get good results. I highly recommend getting the Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper if you're coloring with Arteza markers. And be careful that you get the smooth kind because there is just regular Bristol paper and you want Bristol Smooth Paper. So I used that flamingo pink color and I just used my water brush to blend it out. And then I took my black Arteza marker and added it to the tip of the beak. And then I came back in with the flamingo pink and added it to the beak and the legs and then blended that out. 
And when I was coloring this flamingo, I was still in that mode of just relaxing and coloring with my brain kind of shut off, just, just enjoying it. And I didn't really pay much attention to shadows or highlights or anything like that. I just put color where I felt like putting color. And I did bring in one other pink color. I used the fuchsia color, um, but for the most part, I just used that flamingo pink color and that's it. Once all the coloring was done, I brought in my Copic Multiliner and really darkened up the eye on the flamingo. I also took my white gel pen and added some highlights. And you want to make sure that the, the coloring is all dry before you use the gel pen on it, or it's just not going to work well. Once that was done, I cut out this little flamingo using the dye that's actually provided in the Simon Says Stamp July kit. It was really nice that they provided the coordinating dye for this flamingo because those legs would have been a pain in the butt to fussy cut. Next I'm going to work on the sentiment for the card and I decided to use the stamp that says be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. I used Versamark ink to stamp this because I'm going to end up embossing it. Now I'm not exactly sure what size the little piece of cardstock is that I stamped this on, but I know that after I embossed it, I cut it down to be four by two and three quarters. I chose a silver embossing powder for this, and then I used my heat tool to heat it up until it melted. Now I'm gonna to put together all of the elements of this card, and I started with this watercolor background that I made. I used my ATG gun to adhere that to a card base. By the way, if you want to know the specific colors that I used in the watercolor background, you can check out the blog for today, and I'm going to have those details on there. This panel ended up being slightly smaller than the card base, so I just trimmed off that edge with my scissors. I took the sentiment panel and I adhered it to a piece of vellum that I cut to be four and a half by three and a quarter. You might have noticed by now that the layout of this card is very similar to the layout of my last card, and that's just because my brain was fried, and like I said, my creative juices were just not flowing. I could not think. I just needed to craft and not think, so I kind of stole ideas from myself and created this card. I added some white dashed lines along the outer border of the vellum, and then I put some foam tape on the back of this to pop it up on my card. And I was careful to make sure that that foam tape was only where the white cardstock was so that you couldn't see it through the vellum. Next, I used my Tombow glue to adhere the flamingo. And when I put the Tombow glue on there, I was sure to not have lots of really big blobs that would kind of ooze out the sides when, you, when I put the flamingo on the card. I used my Dolphin Gray Arteza marker to add dashed lines around the sentiment panel and my head does make a lot of appearances during this portion of the video. I'm really sorry about that. You guys get to see my really messy hair. The, the heat does ridiculous things to my hair. I added just a few silver sequins to this card, and I just used my Tombow glue and my tweezers to add those. The last thing that I did to finish up this card is I went over my flamingo with my glitter brush just to give it a little bit of sparkle because, you know, flamingos are fabulous and they have to have all the glitter and the sparkle. And then this card was all done. Thank you for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed this card using the July 2018 Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. All of the supplies that I used for this video can be found in the description down below. If you enjoyed watching today's card, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can see all of my future videos. I'm going to be taking Wednesday off this week for the holiday, but I will be back with a new video on Friday. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I hope you have a great day today.